we're going to be doing a couple more instructional videos for you guys for your final. Um, these are chest projections. So we will be doing the uh, decubitus chest and the cross table lateral chest. These are typically done if we're looking for free fluid um, or the cross table lateral chest might be done like in a trauma situation where you can't manage to sit the patient up or get them back to the room or something along those lines. So they're very similar, so we're gonna do them together. And we're gonna start with the decubitus and I'm gonna have my patient laying on their uh, left side toward, the, or I'm sorry, your right side facing the tube for me. So this is very, very much like an AP chest projection that we would be doing portable, um, only we are having the patient on their side. So we will uh, be trying to get the same 72 SID, we'll be trying to use the same technique of 120 KVP, and we'll be trying to get a double inspiration from this patient before we expose. So as we line it up, I'm gonna put this cassette in the cassette holder here behind her with my red line at the bottom. I'm going to put it in a lengthwise orientation because for my patient that's what works. If you have a, a wide chested person then you would be putting it in crosswise but always remembering that your red line should be at the bottom. So I am going to have my patient scoot back very far until we are touching this cassette. And then as I'm placing it behind her, I'm trying to get it an inch and a half or two inches above her shoulder, just like we do when we're looking in the wall bucky, um, but now it's just directly behind her. Typically, I would also be using a grid, but right now I'm just gonna look at that. Now, got that lined up. So I am gonna, while I'm back there, go ahead and put a marker on it. I'm gonna mark right up here where I have room. So I'm gonna put a left marker up here at her left shoulder. Now typically you would also have some sort of a hard pad underneath of them, raising them up off the table here a little bit because we're gonna get really close. We can't get our cassette low enough close to the table to get the bottom part of her lung. Um, so in ideal situation, we would have a pad underneath of her raising her up a little bit to give us some added, because we have a lot of cassette up here that we're not using. We wish we had more underneath so in an ideal situation, that's what we'd be doing, but we're not going to require that of you guys for your practical, so we're not going to demonstrate it here. But I am going to have my patient bring their arms straight up over their head, both of them. This is so usually pretty difficult for the patient, but for my patient, it's super easy. Um, and making sure their elbows are up here because we do, do not want them to just bring their arms up like this and have their elbows still in front of their chest. You want to make sure it's nice and high out of the way. And then I'm gonna look at my tube here and get lined up. So where am I lining up? I'm kind of bringing my tube so it's about three inches above her, or below, sorry, the jugular notch, which essentially means I'm gonna look right here and see where her sternal uh, notch is and I'm just gonna go right below it. We're lining up just like we do for a regular AP chest. And then I am gonna collimate in quite a bit I'm also bringing my tube down so that the midline of my tube is at the midline of her body. Okay. Then I'm going to check my SID. We would also be using a grid for this study, more than likely. I was able to get 70 right here. So I'm just going to try to see if I can back up any more. I can. Very good. I'm collimating in so well that I'm going to have to move my marker, but that's okay. So that's what I want to do. I'm going to move it right here into behind her shoulder where I know it's still out of the way. And I'm also going to grab a shield and shield my patient. This is exactly like an AP chest. So I'm going to set my KVP at 120 and have her take in a deep breath and blow it all out and take in another deep breath and hold her breath and take my exposure. Now since we're looking for things to be settling air and fluid in this film, uh, we usually like to have the patient laying like this for about five minutes before we take the exposure. 
Um, but typically it takes you, after you get the patient rolled up, about five minutes to get everything set up. So we're not going to have you guys waiting out any longer after you've gotten this set up for your practical. Just set it up and then take the exposure. But in clinic, you would likely be waiting a few minutes just to make sure everything's settling well before you take the exposure. Now the other one we're gonna demonstrate here is the cross table lateral. Some people also call it a dorsal decubitus. But essentially, this is the same lateral chest that you guys have done at Wall Bucky, but now we're just doing it with the patient laying down. So again, we would want that pad underneath of our patient to elevate them off the table so that we don't clip the back of them since our cassette can't go any lower than the table height. And I'm gonna have her once again bring her arms all the way up out of our um, picture and out of her lung fields. Now, now that she turned, I'm gonna have to lower my tube down a little bit because I am no longer at the midline where we wanna be. But I can leave my SID here at 72 now that I've got it set. So I'm gonna come down here to the midline and then I can colonate a little bit more here, which is what we like to see you all doing. And then I am gonna move my marker down. Now keep in mind for both of these projections, you want your patient as close to the IR as possible to reduce your OID, which y'all know what that means, object image. So I'm gonna bring her elbows in a little bit closer because I think I can scoot this closer to her over here on the side. Put your hand, good job. Okay. <laughs> All right, one last time, I am gonna check my SID again and see if I manipulated it too much. And I did not, I am good right there. So I am at 120 kbp once again for this one. I'll have her take in a deep breath and blow it all the way out. Take in one more deep breath and hold your breath while I make the exposure. Never forget the shield, even if it's last minute. Those are your two uh, additional final only chest projections.